Becca even threw out, they colluded for us to not have sex. That was the dumbest thing I've heard on, on reality went, TV. But don't the problem is, don't you ever in your life, you are a woman, okay? How dare you on Beyonce's internet have an issue? If a man don't want to sleep with you, girl, get on. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for joining us again. I'm your girl, Intasar Eleanor. This is my beautiful husband, Jeff. And we are back and we're talking all things married at first sight today, okay? This is the first reunion episode that we're getting into. Mm -hmm. Part one. Part one. And... First of all, if you're new here, bust down and subscribe to this Mimi Tapping channel. If you're just joining us again, hey, boo, hey. Thank you for coming on through. Make sure y'all bust in with all the info, all the deets, all the comments below. Mm -hmm. Because we love to get y'all feedback. So, yeah, let's dig in and talk about this reunion. If you've never, if you've never understood what collusion is, this first, I guess, iteration or first part of the reunion is literally a example of what collusion is. A thousand percent. These people, as a collective, decided that they were going to present a specific way mm -hmm. as to not give the producers power. It's so much I have to unpack on this. Yeah, because that's stupid in itself. The reason why the explanation is stupid, because we're not talking about people. Like, that would make sense to me, I'm going to be honest, if you're on a show for a very long time. Now you're hip, right? Now you have an understanding. You now are an expert in some ways at producing, right? But for Joe Schmo Brennan to come off the street and now decide that he knows how to produce a television show so much so that he's going to only act a certain way or do certain things to, to show him a, in a certain light, which only made things abundantly worse. It's just so fascinating. But not only that, I'm going to tell you why it's dumb. Because <laughs> if you've ever been in television, dealt with with on that side of the business in, in television, or just been a YouTuber or been editing YouTube, you know that the content and what is on the screen is what is on the screen. There is not, people always like to blame the producers and blame the way they edited it and blame the cut on all of these things, how you look like a terrible person. But nine times out of 10, and I mean nine times out of 10, like 99.999% of the time, if you look like a terrible person, it's because you are a terrible person. The editing and the splicing and everything can only do but so much. Yeah. They can only edit what y'all give them. Yeah. Right? I mean, outside of them literally chopping up sentences. Outside of to put artificial together, intelligence right, most right. of the time. Yes, chopping up sentences and stuff like that. Yes. But even that is dipping into the place of, of AI. Like, you know what I mean? It's piecing together. It's the, it's the murderous note. It's piecing together letters to make it look like you said something. Outside of that... You, if you look, if you come off looking horrible, it's because you gave horrible material, right? So you're never gonna sit down with a group of people and go, "Let's work this out so we can make sure that we come out looking good." I just can't even believe that not one adult in this group said, "No, I'm good." Like right. that is also it. Also, is telling about where we are as a people. And it's funny because we had this conversation about a friend of ours um, or, you know, somebody we just, you know, kind of know. And we were talking about how a large part of why they won't meet somebody is because the expectations that they have for, you know, whoever this person is, 
is only to feed the beast, the machine that is everyone else. It's for somebody else. It's for somebody else. So you'll never find anything for you because you're not in a space of, you're not serving you. Right. So you're going to do everything to serve everybody else because that's just what works for you, right? Right. So then you'll constantly meet people who will take and take and exhaust and dog you out because it was because ne- they knew it was never about you. Right. They knew, okay? And each and every one of these people, have specifically these women, yeah. Because it's no way a man I don't even the hell know. I don't want a man that bad that he could come up to me and tell me, oh, so we don't get a bad edit. Let's do boom, boom, and boom. So who don't get a bad edit? But they don't believe that. And that's my, my problem with the reunion as a whole was the group think. It's the group think amongst the entire group, and it's the group think amongst the women. Oh, we he- were five minutes in. And we come on, and I already was turned off by the the half like sorority sisters a uh, uh, a color scheme thing that they were just trying to pull off, and then their sorry ass explanation for it, and that we just trying to stand in solidarity. This is a show about you as a stranger marrying another stranger, and then you living your lives with that stranger and meeting these other strangers in the process. So we're already. Not focusing on the right shit because we talking about bi- building solidarity with a bunch of other motherfuckers that we do not know. So Let's, weird. I'm tired of everybody addressing somebody else's man. Everybody got so much battery in their back and so much to say about another person's relationship, right? So <laughs> that the whole solidarity thing, this is not a show for solidarity. This is not a real world versus a, a road rules or whatever. And it's the red team versus the blue team. The so this, this this childish... Mars versus Venus thing that they keep trying to perpetuate, it was annoying to me right off the jump. I didn't like it. But it goes back to the theme of the group thing. It it was divisive, and it really, it all kind of, it was actually a bit disappointing. It was. I am a a great proponent. First of all, Joe, no, I watch Housewives reunions on a loop. Like, I just watch them, right? So them matching at first didn't bother me because I thought, oh, they just picked the color and everybody. But then when I saw Chloe in purple, I felt so... It took me back to kindergarten when she who should not be named, because I ain't even going to air her out, okay? Because she know me and her have been acquaintances since. But when that bitch told me you don't have on denim today and it's Tuesday, so you can't play with us. Oh, I'll never man. forget that shit. Mm-hmm. That really, I, and when I mean I never forgot it, she know who she is. I brought it up every single time I saw her. Like, girl, we ain't even cool like that. Like, don't even ever. Like, because that shit is not cool. And and even more than not cool, it's childish. Y'all are grown ass women. Grown women. If Big y'all decided women. to do that, you're trying to tell me not one of y'all, not one of y'all thought that it would be screwed up if this other woman got on TV. Y'all automatically made yourselves the villains. That's what y'all don't even know what y'all did. Right. Y'all automatically made yourselves the villains. Loudly. Because y'all would even do that to another woman. How y'all even think how y'all maneuver is shisty. So now people looking at y'all like, let's hear what Cameron got to say. A thousand percent. Y'all made yourself the villain by doing it off the rip because when this is not Housewives of New York, so there is there, you are literally here to focus on your relationship with another person. When they are they they solidarity is fine because they just run around the city together. There, th- that's the whole point of the show. Literally. But this is not that. This is about you focusing on th- the problem. Is that. All of this ancillary bullshit is the reason why y'all ended up here and is the reason why y'all coming off as the villains because y'all are so stuck on trying to paint a narrative. The whole color scheme was trying to paint a narrative. The whole group think meeting was trying to paint a narrative. Trying to have everybody respond to their spouse in the same uniform way is trying to paint a narrative. And so this whole, the reason why this has been sh- such a shit show of a cast is because y'all keep trying to control the narrative and you're focused on the wrong thing rather than focus on your relationship and your relationship only. And, and like we talked about with that friend, not about what social media is going to say, what somebody else says, Becca is only in this situation because she had a battery in her back from somebody else. She told us at every turn, every, she told anybody who would listen that she still wanted her man. 
So how is it that you and Emily is on the same is on the same playing field? It was a little bit weird. It's just that weird. He lied about see, being out with the producer. That was a little bit weird. It or maybe it was a lot of bit weird. I don't know. I think I think the the overarching point here is that you all in your small whatever this is inside of your skull could not have thought that you not showing up authentically, even if it was for a large portion of the time, even if it was only for filming, right, wouldn't affect how you show up in your relationship at all. If I'm filming, let's say it's just eight hours a day, right? If I'm filming eight hours a day and I work eight hours a day, I got to be a representative at work, and now I'm a representative for the eight hours I'm filming, when are you yourself? Right. So now I'm in a relationship with somebody who I'm maneuvering with and I've never gotten to know. And somewhere in my small, small, small brain, I thought this could actually be something if we just play. We're playing them and not ourselves. We're playing them. You look completely asinine. What did you sign up for this for? If it wasn't for it to be on your own singular journey, I do not understand that. Me and Joe moving away. When I tell you we Velcro for real, for real, like we really do a lot of stuff together, most stuff together. That may bother other people, right? But me and Joe are so on our path, on our journey in our marriage, we actually don't give a damn. Right. <laughs> Like, I don't care that you wanted to see him by himself. Yes, I'm at the poker night. Yes, I'm showing up. That's my goddamn husband. And I think when you take away what you think your marriage looks like to other people, it provides you a sense of solace, a sense of peace. It's sacred then. Y'all, all this was mixy ass. Ooh, I wanted to curse. But it's just mixy to me. Y'all really wanted to be Instagram stars. Y'all salty, y'all not. Y'all wore the pink because y'all thought I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. And it didn't come through. We don't need America Ferrera to give no long ass speech about being a woman, bitch. We are women. It's like, I'm like, I I can't. At all. But my overarching issue here is strictly with the fact that all offenses are not created equal. Right. Okay. So the group think aspect of what's going on as a whole and also with the ladies is disgusting to me because Brennan's offenses were not the same as Austin's offenses. Precisely. Right. Lauren is not in her marriage, not because Orion was out here in the streets and, and going on side dates or something like that. Is because she called him a derogatory term and their marriage went down the hole af- ever since that. It never yeah. recovered from that. That's why Lauren is not in a relationship. So everybody, but everybody is using we and everybody's using yeah. us and every, so that's why. It's like that's, you've learned nothing. And so that's why I can't get to the weirdness of anything that Austin did or anything that Brennan did or anything that Orion did because there's this group think attempt to gaslight everybody to thinking that we are the victims and you're not there are no victims here and i feel like you you i think you're right about that because as much as i do not like brennan and as much as i absolutely positively agree with emily that she was manipulated i really do believe she was um i just feel like you all have learned nothing and it's like almost like you're perpetuating this cycle and you almost kind of, I hate to say that you asked for it, but it feels that way to me. I, I, I can't get with nobody addressing the Emily and Brendan situation. I'm not on nobody's side. Like I was on, I was on Emily's side. I was on Emily's side this whole time till I found out that she was knocking off. She was cheating on uh, Brendan with somebody else. And we talked about this a little bit, during the show just amongst each other because we had a lot to say while the show was on. So we talked about just doing a show amongst each other. Sometimes you can react to an offense and your reaction 
becomes now the fe- be- becomes the bigger story than the initial offense itself. Is that a shame? Yes. But as an adult, is that your fault? Yes. As an adult, you are charged with the responsibility of thinking these things through before you act on them. Right? So when we're out and somebody say something weird to me and somebody do something weird to me, I'm thinking about my reaction becoming the bigger issue. Right? That's just something I have to think about as an adult. Before I get to thinking about it as a man or as a black man or all of these other things that we can add on to the situation, I have to think as an adult, it still is my reaction is still going to be all, all the onus is going to be on me. Right. If somebody shoots your sister and then you go out in the street and you shoot the person who shot your sister, you're still going to jail. Now, in the eyes of the law, you're still going I to hear jail. What you're saying. It's just the reality of it. I hear as an adult, I hear it's still your responsibility. What you're so so let me just land the plane here. I'm not on nobody's side. I'm not Emily, not for you. Emily was wrong. She did wrong. The whole solidarity thing to me was trying to be cloaked in in victimization. Yes. And so none of you are victims. Emily, I was she was Emily was the only one I was riding with as a victim before I found out she was she was sleeping with somebody else. Which so, I'm not mad so, at her. So now <laughs> and you don't have to be I'm not but mad. she's not and a victim. I don't think she did nothing wrong. But she's also <laughs> like, and she, at all. And some people can think that, but she's also not a victim. So you can't play the everybody got the, the white tears is flowing. Mm-hmm. Everybody is crying as if as if they played no part in their demise. And that's just not true. It's not true for Emily. It's not true for Lauren. It's not true for Becca. It's not true for Claire. It's not true for Chloe. It's not true for no- everybody played a part in their demise. There was no, this was a, there was, this was a shitty cast to be frank. And no one here is, no one here is a, is a victim. No one. I don't believe, I think victim is a big word. So I agree. I don't think anybody here is a victim. But let me tell y'all this. I, 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 y'all know, y'all was all in the um, chat talking about, oh, well, you need to see what Emily did to Brandon. She was sleeping with somebody else. Boop, doop, boop, doop, boop. And if you know me to be a good girlfriend, I don't give a damn. <laughs> okay? But if you don't treat me right, if you don't treat me right, I'm doing whatever the bleep I want to do. And that's on period. I have no loyalty to nobody but me. And my thing is like, and, and if you love me the way I love me, then I'm loyal to you. And that's it and that's all. But if there's ever any line where I'm of the belief that you are not pouring in the way that I expect to be worshipped all up and down in this meme taking place. <laughs> you, it'll, and I really do believe that. The problem and I is, feel like, Emily, I ain't mad at you. Which, which is cool. I'm not mad. Which is fine. It's just, know, you ask me if you give me advice and you mad at home and you crying and he did say, he did, I'll be like, did you go, did you cheat? The did problem you get is, you a new, get, go do your thing. Stop talking which, to me. Which the problem is, if, if you do that and then it's a race to the bottom, you can't sit in choir roof. That's but all I'm saying. Is, but the problem is, which but is that's not what you would do. And that's corny to but me. But you know what, Joe? The difference is, and you're absolutely right. The difference is, is that sometimes I don't want to be right. Sometimes I want to make a point. You know what I mean? And the problem is, is that differently than how I think, they wanted to be right. A thousand percent. That's all they care about. That's what the. We all see in the, the, the receipts come out and the text, the screenshots and stuff come out. And at the core of all of this is the realization that they just wanted to appear yeah. the right ones. And some of them ultimately just wanted to appear the victim. It's very clear. It's very clear. It's very clear that amongst the women, they just strongly felt that it was best for them to come out of this the victim. But Claire is sitting here talking about. I'm sitting here like, did anybody watch the show? How did Claire in her mind think that Cameron was ever going to be painted in a bad light, no matter what he said or text or did? But because she was we saw to her squeeze them tears out. Did you see? It, <laughs> squeeze them. Which the acting is terrible. Terrible. But we saw I tweeted something out during the show, and I got an overwhelming re- I mean, out of anything, out of any of the times that I was live tweeting during the show, I got an overwhelming response of positivity when I tweeted about the timeline of Claire and Cameron's relationship. I said their relationship was literally, they get married. Claire makes it very clear that she is not into him. She gives him nothing for weeks. He gets sick, he gets sick, ends up in the hospital, and that's it. That's the last time we really see of him. How in the, in your mind, if you're clear, are you sitting up on somebody's couch crying, talking about I you did this to me it. and you should apologize for what you did and everything? I just don't, it's such there's so much delusion. So it's just the it's a thing of act, do whatever, how, however you think your get back was supposed to get back. But you're not going to sit up here and be a victim. None of them. But Claire is a burnout. And I believed 
nearly every word Cameron said. And yes, I saw the screenshots of the text messages, but somebody made a very valid point. Some of those text messages wasn't even responded to correctly. Like he was like having a conversation with somebody else. They look chopped and screwed. And I don't care what nobody says. Yeah, I, I to be honest, out of everybody on here, the people that I believe the most is Cameron and Michael. And I don't believe Michael ass. Okay. And I think and the truth is, I think what I have a hard time with, and this is because I I don't know, I don't know if I am a straight shooter. I think you are. Okay. I try to be I try to do it lovingly as much as I can. But as a straight shooter, um, I get so bothered when people speak in all of these entendres and metaphors and idioms and just use the words. You know what I mean? Just like literally explain what is going on because it's like he paints one picture and then describes it this way. And it's quite exhausting to me. It's really, really, really... Um, he thinks it makes him look so emotionally, and I like Michael in the beginning. That's a, Y'all know that. That's a personality thing, though. You think it's his personality? Yes, and we 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 both share that, and that we don't really love people that are like that. But do we that, know people who like that. We do, but that's just. Oh, a, you wanted to tell me. But who, that's cause... just a difference of personality. Like we just wouldn't hang with that person. They're not a bad person. You know what oh I mean? Oh my God, we do. We you do, know what I mean? We do, we do. We but do. we just, it's we a, that's a clash in personalities. Yeah, because I, for me, it's just like, but it, I, I, I get it. You're trying to give me the flowers, right? But it's feeling like a funeral. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm picking up what you're trying to do. It's just not landing. And that's the problem with, like, Michael feels over time. Because I don't feel like we got one genuine, even just to see a mother jump up mad or angry or passionate. I, we haven't even seen Michael passionate but that, about Well, anything. we haven't seen Michael or Chloe passionate. That's what I'm saying. Like we, yeah, we, the, the, we, just, we talked about a couple weeks ago about how Dr. Pia had to call them out, specifically Chloe, on the fraudulent like aspects of their relationship yeah. and how she felt like nothing was genuine, right? So the one thing that we do know is that Michael was genuinely himself to the point where it might not be, it might, it might've been a self that we really didn't vibe with or didn't connect with or didn't like, I would never just be rocking with a bull who just wear pearls and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So me and Michael would never just be friends in real life, but Michael was himself from the beginning, the same way Cameron was himself from the beginning. Right. And so what a lot of the phoniness was, was also, Claire like just I mean Claire was like the, the phony actor from the very beginning she another one who's trying to be a victim and it's like it's not landing you know you what I'm saying you wear pink too girl she probably the one who said y'all know what we should do we should wear pink how about that so this is my question though do you guys think that they started this colluding as a group before the honeymoon I mean on the honeymoon they started that I know they kind of. I think they started that, it after they met each other, so that would have been the honeymoon, right? Yeah. I think I think at that point they meet each other, and then because before then they get married and they don't know who else is on the show, right? So I think they they met and then they started this text chain or whatever, and they start figuring out how we're gonna do and and what we're gonna air and what we're not gonna air and everything like that. I think that's how it happened. But the but the but the crazy part about it is they was all a part of it. I can't even imagine. So like acting like it was you. You I was so everybody was so manipulated. Get the And I don't understand why because what's his name? Who hosted the show? Kevin. Kevin. Y'all know Kevin be getting on my goddamn nerves. Mm -hmm. But (laughs) I was really he couldn't even get he was like, this is a shit show. Uh, Yeah. But he was floored. Even more than that, Lifetime should be suing them as a group. I would sue each and every one of these people, mm-hmm. probably less Michael and Chloe, mm-hmm. if I'm being honest, but just for colluding and trying to create this, I would sue them. And I would be having um, Kevin ask questions like that would be asked at a deposition. I'm about to say, so like when legal, did this start? Yes. yes. When, when did this begin? Because we need to make sure this is all on film. Y'all say, cause y'all got, y'all got a battery in your back today because the truth of the matter is, 
I can't think of anything in my adult life, in my, you know, very 25 year old life where everybody I know would just agree. And nothing. I'm like really trying to think of something. Nothing. Like, you know what I mean? Nothing, like, nothing where we're, we're in a room full of adults at these big ages. That's what's weird about it too. It's like y'all all adults. And that, that's the other thing that I can't get where y'all trying to convince us that y'all, that y'all such victims and damsels in distress because these big burly men just knocked you over the head and convinced you to act a certain way and to talk about a certain thing. And Literally. I'm like, the more that come out, the more I realize y'all are full of shit. Because when did, so Lauren, did you agree with Cameron at the time when he said he got right. his favor? Or no, because now you're saying you don't agree, but did you make moves that way before? Right, these people that you just met had so much influence over you? I don't even understand This man that you that. met, Less than a week ago, at the time that y'all having this conversation, we, we, let's assume that you're on a honeymoon. This man that you've known for seven days got so much. I, let me tell y'all, I've known this girl since she was 16. I, 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 I pray to God to have that much influence on her. I, I'll never have it. I'll never have it. I've known her since she was pissing in her pampers. And I, I'll never have it. So you mean to tell me that these big educated women at these big ages met these strange men and seven days in, they had so much influence on them that they made y'all dance like puppets. Get the hell out of here. I don't, it's just I can't why believe it. That, Claire, you ain't even like your man. So, you didn't even like this boy. So how did we get there with you? And I believe, you know what I mean? I, I thought, because I feel the same way about Chloe. Chloe, you didn't like Michael. And that's why, and, and that's why I don't like this whole, I don't know why he said no on decision. You know exactly why he said no on decision day. Stevie Wonder could see from the very beginning of y'all relationship that you didn't like him. Mm. That was a consensus and that we he had. Felt, and so, he felt that. Okay. He felt that. So the whole thing of pressing him, I didn't like that part about Kevin's question and during the Because during it kind of made it Michael. Because they tried to, it, it kind of put the onus on Michael like he's the weirdo. Like, hold on. We all saw, because Kevin also said something that I thought was bullshit. Well, I just, I'm just curious and I got to keep, I'm, he said something to the effect of, I'm not moving on from this line of questioning because I'm going to be honest with you. It just seems so perfect. Bullshit, bro. What are you talking about? Nobody saw... Chloe and Michael, for the first couple episodes of their existence, and thought they are so perfect. Nobody thought Nobody. they're Woody and Imani. Nobody thought that. But I did think, I, I never thought that, but I did think that since you're already married, what would be the, you wouldn't lose anything continuing past. Why would I continue I with thought. this phony and fraudulent John that was phony and fraudulent from day one? For what? This is my time to get out of this. We can't ask people. We can't ask people. And, and I feel like this is, a, this is a season where it's really a turning point in this because I feel like Austin is a part of this too. We cannot ask people to be a part of the process and then kill them when they don't make the decisions that we want them to make, Right. People who, they wasn't calling their exes during the process. They wasn't treating their spouse like a dog. But people who might not, you're marrying a stranger, so you might not be attracted to them. Mm -hmm. You're marrying mm -hmm. a stranger, so they might not like you in, mm -hmm. in, in Michael's case, right? So, but we ask people to stay there. We ask people, take it to decision day, stay there, see it through, all of that stuff. So then, but, but then when people do it and we don't like the decision they made, now they're the problem. This whole show is built on a premise of you going through this process and you making it to decision day and then giving your honest answer. We can't keep killing but people for, for making it through decision day and then saying, you know what? I don't want to be, Chloe was fraudulent from day one. Michael had every reason to say, you know what? Let's kill this. Every reason. Yeah, I think the problem, the only, not even a problem, you're, I, I feel like you're right, but I think that it's getting more and more skewed the more and more these people, the problem is, is that it's, it's hard not to have like a real sense of self and not even a real sense of self. Like people understand what other people look like out in the world, right? You might not have a great idea what you look like. But you understand what uh, somebody else may look like. And now that you have that knowledge, you almost try to curate yourself based on what you see in other people. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's getting increasingly harder to have this conversation about who's going to stay married, who's going to get a divorce, because these people are curating and producing. They are. But, and it's almost like. But let me tell you what. Let me tell you what can't be curated and produced real connection between two individuals, right? Let's take 
Woody and Imani, for example. That that entire cast could have sat up there and produced and planned and plotted. That was a good to, season. And tried to make decisions. It was. And tried to make decisions on how they was going to show up on camera and everything. But at the end of the day, they really just liked each other and you could tell. Yeah. And when people just like each other, you can tell. It's yeah. nothing that you can edit out. It's nothing that you can produce and try to okay. do the whole smoke and mirrors thing. They just like each other. We'll be in places together. And when I say we, I mean, me and Zara will be in places together. And just be vibing with each other. It could, it could be a bunch of things going on. It could be somebody on the stage playing, <laughs> having a raffle. It could be somebody. Somebody will notice us and come over and say they'll say something. They'll strike up a conversation. They'll buy us food. They'll buy us drinks. Uh-huh. All of this thing because we with, got the juice hot kid. But <laughs> and I'm saying that to say with all of the fluff and everything that could be in a room, genuine connection cannot be covered up. It cannot be smoked out. You know what I mean? So the reality of it is none of these people had genuine connection. None of them. And that, what we're not talking about, falls at the feet of the quote unquote experts. So you think that, because I've been going back and forth in my head about this, y'all. Like, do I think that this is the experts? The experts have some responsibility to bear here, right? Or whoever matched these mother jumpers. But how much do I think they have? So you're asking us to do a blame pie, which I love doing pies. <laughs> I am asking so for a blame we can pie. actually do a blame pie. The fish rot from the head down. It's the same, but it's accurate, right? At the end of the day, the United States goes to shit. We have to blame the president, yeah. right? Yeah. If 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 Pepsi stock drops down and plummets out of nowhere, guess who's getting fired? The yeah. CEO. Yeah. The fish rots from the head down. These people did not pick themselves. If we're doing a blame pie, they have to get the majority of it, no matter what the percentage is. Yeah. They have to get the majority of it because they didn't pick themselves. And then they try to convince us that they pour over these people and these resumes and all of these They're going to have to come out with a whole new special. The special need to be a movie. The special need to be uh, three hours long. It y'all have to, to show us exact. Y'all got to show us man number one, a thousand man number one hundred and fifty one. A thousand percent. Y'all got to because at this point we don't believe you. You need more people. We don't believe you. We don't, don't believe you. We don't believe that it's y'all are doing your job. It's starting to feel like y'all job. like this. Yeah, it's almost like I would hope to think it's intentional. You can't. Be right. This, you can't be this bad at your job. You cannot be this bad at your job. Joe. Joe. That is such a good point. It almost has to be intentional. For your sake, I would hope. I would hope it's because if it's not, you're terrible. Fired. You're fired. You're fired. You didn't do your job. You gotta think this. We're going on two, three years now. Oh my goodness! Of seasons where by the end of the season, nobody's married. Everybody is divorced. This is this is on y'all. This is not. This is not the first time that we've seen them go zero and five at the end of a season. At all. So at the end of the day, they're not picking themselves, and they're not pairing themselves. At all. That's the thing too. And they not and and they need help. They need help. That's another thing too. They need help, but ultimately, it falls at the feet of the people who are putting these people together. And I think that when I saw Lauren and Orion, what did I tell y'all? It was going. It was. You did. It didn't you did. last. A month, and I told y'all, it didn't last I'm, fourteen days. And I told y'all, <laughs> this is te- this is a ter- this is going to crash and burn. You did. I could just see from their solo things and the things that they was asking for, they wasn't asking for each other. But y'all wanted to force it. Y'all wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Do what y'all. Y'all, there was definitely narrative there. I already, I already know it was. But that's just an example of like Stevie Wonder could see that that was never going to work. But how, y'all did it anyway. How do you feel about Orion um, telling Lauren that? Now that he has this, pla- he feels excited to have a platform to center indigenous people. To be honest, I think that Lauren tried to manipulate that conversation into being him not being here for the right reasons. And I don't believe it. You also need more people. I believe that y'all had a conversation about that. And I believe that he absolutely said something that touched on him being proud to have a platform to highlight indigenous people. And... But Why? you don't think he meant it like I don't think he meant it like that's I'm what here. I'm here for. Yeah. I don't think he meant that. In the same way as if I went on some show and was the only black guy, I almost said another thing. It was the only black guy on the show oh, and God I say you what'd you say? <laughs> thank God you did. Yeah. And, and was the only black guy on the show and I say something to the effect of, I'm glad that I'm here and that could 
that, that you know I'm able to show us in a different light or to show that we do. I say I talk like that all the time. Uh, we watch a movie about this black young Somali, and I just say I love to see black yeah. because I feel like we don't show black people doing. These, and whenever we watch a movie, we killers and drug dealers and doing this, but we never a Somali yet. Right. We right. never an architect. Right. We never this. You know what I'm saying? So I believe he said that, and I don't believe he's in the wrong for saying that. But y'all are looking for every little thing, and I believe that at the time that he said it, you weren't offended by it. I, be, I believe. Well, he said that she had an issue with it. He said that she had an issue with what? With that he said that. He said that she had an issue with him saying that he had a plan for him now. She that. didn't have that much of issue of it because guess what? She wanted to be with him. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? She wasn't leaving. You know what I'm saying? She didn't have the issue that he had with her basically calling him the N-word. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, let's be real about this. Like, I think now that we're separated and apart and quote unquote div divorced, all the offenses are even more offensive. Everything that happened. Oh, yeah. You understand oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Everything oh, yeah. got yeast added to it oh, now. Yeah. You know what I mean? You were so offended by him now because we saw that Lauren's attempt to make the offenses equal very early on. And it was weird. It was very You remember odd. when she tried to make every, after they had the whole red skin thing. Every comment from Lauren was like, well, remember when I had to forgive him and he had to forgive me. Everything was like an equal. And it yeah. was just like, this is, we're not Yeah, 12, we're conflating. Yo. Yes. Um, I do think Orion was wrong for trying to do the whole back and forth thing. Like, leave this woman alone. If you don't want her, then don't want her and move on. But I do think something to what you're saying. The problem with Lauren I have is that I was rooting for her, high key. And I was even rooting for her to be more triumphant than I, I, I think, we, I think social media also wants us. There's a conversation about how social media wants you to have these moments with people that feels like you're getting justice, right? What you mean? Uh, AD and the other, the white, the white, the, Oh, I see. I you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. wanted that moment so bad, we right? Did, but in real life, that. That's not how justice is served, right? In real life, you just grow up. <laughs> like you just say, you know what? I see you. I'm moving on from this. I don't even need that. The, to check you would be providing energy that I don't need to give. Mm -hmm. And when I pass up out of here, I don't even want that to be in the real of life. You know what I mean? When things start floating by, that don't even need to be there. I'm going to just remove myself. And I feel like Lauren... And this might be to no fault of her own in some ways. Was she was too bothered for me, if that makes sense. Like, if for Lauren, something that lasted for fourteen days, you was really high key. This is somebody like imagine you swipe left on somebody on Tinder or something like that, and then fourteen days they got you triggered like this. I don't. I don't. I, I don't get cannot it. agree more. We watched a, the a show, Deara from Detroit. <laughs> Shout out to our friend that's on the show. No, I don't know if I want you to get this. I'm gonna give it. <laughs> Shout out to our friend that's on the show. We watched it strictly yeah, for our for friend. friend. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, and I think that he he, did, he, he did, was killing it. He did an amazing. He did an. Amazing, I ain't gonna. They all are killing it in their way because I'm I'm still watching it. He did an amazing job. But he is. Really but I'm gonna tell you. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all where they lost me at. The girl, the lead girl. This has nothing to do with our homie. He's been amazing. But the lead girl ends up meeting this random guy. You're talking about the story, though. Yeah. Yes. Ends up meeting this random guy. Yeah. Sleeps with him the first night she meets him. After that, she's searching for him in the daytime with a flashlight. <laughs> I mean, literally, it... Joe, that was funny. I'm sitting here like, <laughs> what are we doing? And then after that, if it's almost like the rest of the story is just built upon her chasing after this guy that she just met 10 seconds ago. And that's like, what that's, the vibe this is. This makes no sense. Yeah. This is how I feel about Lauren and Orion's situation. If y'all was, was together for an hour, you are bothered like y'all was together for 10 years and you walked in on him with an, uh, with he was knee deep in another woman and you saw it. That's, that's the energy she, even when she be a rant, it's like this, it's this scorned energy. It's like, a little, girl, that, but, what the fuck? But Joe, like, that's what I'm getting at. So that's what I'm getting at, y'all. I'm not saying don't be upset in the moment that these things have happened, right? But in the in the perspective of life, you've known this person two weeks. You took a chance. You got married. You known this person. It didn't work out. You're more mad that you're embarrassed that it didn't. By and, the way, it didn't work out. Not that it didn't it. work out. By the way, it didn't work out. Then the fact that it didn't work out. Yes. You're more embarrassed by that. So now you yes. showing up here with a battery in your yes. back. 
And it kind of is telling. It's disingenuous. It's more telling. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if it was really on some stuff where, like, okay, it didn't work out. Like, I could be mad. But it's like, it was too It's weeks. disingenuous. You, know you didn't I mean? even want this man. You so mad about this man that you didn't even want that he left you after 14 days of knowing him. It's no way. It's no way you're this mad. It's no way. And it's if you are, no if this is really the core of you, you wasn't ready to be in this anyway. But that too. Because that's wild. Because you, I would be in that room like, hey, honey, how you a doing? A thousand percent. Like, I've, like I've, 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 I've slept good over far longer relationships. <laughs> that's for real. Okay. Like, that's the truth. real and good. I'm going nice. to tell you, this is the only one I was ever losing sleep over. <laughs> So the idea that you will meet this mug for 14 days and just be destroyed, you got an attitude every time you see them. And yeah, no, it ain't even that deep. Like you're really butthurt. And the problem is, and I didn't want that for her. And I think that that's where my critique is coming from. Cause like, I just didn't want that for her. I felt like girl, first of all, don't let nobody see you while you, that, and not to say that black women shouldn't be you ain't that hurt. vulnerable. It's just that. If y'all was so concerned about the narrative for everything else, why wasn't you concerned about that? Yeah. Because you wouldn't have been able to... I wouldn't have caught no sleep, no raise, no nothing. As a matter of fact, I would bought the new man to the goddamn group meetup. Come on, honey. <laughs> That's my ex-husband over there. Yeah, child. And he would have been um, indigenous with two little braids in his hair <laughs> and everything. Okay? Because one thing I'm going to do is drop you, get another one, and call him Orion. Don't ever, don't ever try it. And I feel like there was... I wanted to kind of be that... There is some hurt of going through a breakup and everything, and I get that. But we talking about fourteen days, and 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 in real life, what was we talking about before? And, oh, we was talking about uh, love is blind, because we was talking about it from a space. Y'all was saying all this stuff like, no, I understand why they mad, and I'm like, y'all, I don't get it, because this is not real life. You, oh, okay, yeah, in you real life, about... like the, I'm not gonna be mad at this girl for going after this man. After they get out the pods, because in real life, you don't know we him. all just met. I, I, and that's the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter is you don't even know him long enough to convince me. You don't know. That you're this distraught about it. And I think that at the root of this, you were just mad that this ended where in a, in a fashion where you, it, you weren't in a favorable light. And I because it, at that's the, really at high the, key what At the is. root of this, this ended, Lauren, because you call him... The indigenous version of the N word. That's really that's really what's at the heart of this. That's really why this ended. And I think that the battery in your back came from that. Like you didn't like, and it tracks from everybody colluding and trying to make sure that they came out looking well and yeah. that they can still get brand deals when this was over and they could still get in. I think that that's really at the heart of this. Like, uh, and at the heart of a lot of y'all battery, Claire too. Claire, you have no reason to hate Cameron. You hate Cameron because yeah. this ended and you weren't in a favorable light victor. when it ended. And that's why. And that's and why. that's and that's all. And guess what? I still believe Cameron. And Cameron could be lying like a dead dog. The, the, and I still believe But so believe far, <laughs> Cameron hasn't lied. Like, we see the receipts and stuff that's coming out. And so far, it's it. Cameron cop to having these conversations and having these discussions and things like that. He was very honest about how the conversation with him and Brennan played out and then we got receipts about that and find and found out he was telling the truth so so far i can't believe nobody but cameron is the most believable so far so the other thing that i would like really was kind of like rubbing me the wrong way was the conversation about claire and cameron when they he uh kevin asked had they seen each other you know while he was in the hospital and she went to go say, well, he didn't want me there. Did you hear how she was going to say that? Yes. And that was the weirdest thing to me. Because it's like, how could he tell you? If you were genuine, nobody, it, it, he wouldn't even know you coming. Right. You know his first name, his last name in the hospital he at. Right. You show up at the house. Everybody's done it before. Right. Everybody's done it before. You show up at the hospital. You say, hey, I'm here for Cameron. Yeah. Yeah. Diddy bop. Okay? And yeah. then they show you, they, they give you the room number, right? So let's not pretend like it has to be this concerted effort to see somebody in the hospital. But I'm going to tell you what was pretend. And, and, this, and this is why I also believe Cameron, because he kept the same energy. It was pretend for you to even act like you wanted to go see him in the hospital because y'all didn't have a relationship. And that's why he said, don't bring that in. That's why he was like, why are you doing this? You Because what happened was when Cameron came off camera... Be yeah, when Cameron mm -hmm. was off camera because he was sick, 
she thought it'd be her responsibility or her opportunity, I should say, to now paint this narrative of their relationship that was fraudulent. I just miss him. I just think about him all the time. You wasn't thinking about him when you was living in the same apartment as him. Y'all, mm. y'all relationship was that of roommates. Before Cameron got sick, y'all had no chemistry. Y'all yeah. had no vibe. Y'all barely had a conversation. So he got sick and thought, why are you trying to pump fake now that the cameras is like that I'm not on camera? I don't know. And he also probably thought, which I think he said at some point, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what story you're telling. I don't know how right. you're carrying on. And so I really don't even want to be thrown into this because I don't you you could be saying anything now that I'm gone and now we realize she was y'all didn't really have a relationship and when y'all was talking y'all was plotting and planning about how y'all was going to be perceived on the show so for you to sit on camera and act like you was crying real tears and you was just so heartbroken and worried about you was never worried about Cameron you just wanted to seem like the lovable loving caring girlfriend or fiance or whatever or, or wife whatever in your mind I think you thought that if you acted a certain way while Cameron was gone, everybody would think, oh, look how she's so heartbroken over percent. Cameron. And it just fell flat. Also, because Karen wasn't, Cameron wasn't going along with it. A thousand percent. How did you feel about Cameron asking Claire um, on a date? I thought, you mean to stay, to yeah, try again? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was also consistent with who, Cameron from week one, and they even agreed to this. Cameron from week one said he was in the Claire. He said, I can see why the, they, they paired us. I'm attract I find her attractive. I'm here for this. Let's go. This was Cameron in week one, right? So this is why I think he's the most consistent person on this season because he's been the same all throughout. He never said that he wasn't into her. He never said he didn't think she looked good. He wasn't yeah. attracted to her. None of that. He, 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 when she lied, he corrected her. When she said something that he thought was manipulated or or twisted he corrected her he never said i wasn't into you yeah. he never said i i don't i don't understand why they paired us and all of this stuff so even for her to twist that tr to try to twist that back on him like it was some aha moment look at him if i was such a bad person why would he still want to be with he always wanted to be with you you are a bad person <laughs> like i don't understand why she thinks we're this dumb we watch the episodes but y'all gotta know that bad people got people too a thousand percent. Like, why is that even? Uh, uh, Joe, don't get me started. But you also got to know that people who are really a part of the process are not phased by things that their spouse does that's distasteful to them. Anybody in a real marriage could tell you it's moments yeah. that they don't like their spouse. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to break up with her. I don't want to get no. divorced because Hell, she got I on just, my nerves. Right. I just need a minute. <laughs> You understand? Actually, I'm, I'm going to talk to this person at the end of the night. But like, people that are night. not married don't understand that. Zara was telling me a story about a while ago about one of her single friends who she was venting to. And the girl said, well, why don't you just leave him? And she was like, wait a minute. That's not. I just was venting. Like, I, <laughs> I was but, but that's but that's the risk. Talk about talk about because they love to a big theme on the reunion was whether or not they were married, ready to mar for marriage, whether or not they came on here for the right reasons. This is the pink squad versus the men, right? And Chloe. And Chloe. <laughs> Talk about not being ready in, 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 to be married and being on here for the right reasons. Because the one thing that you have to have when you are married is a stomach for the BS, is a stomach for your spouse to not be pleasing to you in this moment, in this time. It's a stomach for you to not be con totally in love with that person in this moment. And to you to say, we're going to go to bed, we're going to wake up tomorrow, we're going to do this again. And that, so for you to, every aspect of this solidarity is so fraudulent. Because if y'all had that much solidarity for the person that you was actually with, y'all probably would still be together. A thousand percent, Becca. The fact that Becca and Austin ain't together is just really odd to me. And unless y'all gonna say what exactly happened, I really don't see it for either one. Because of them. nothing happened. That's why I don't like this 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 majoring in the minors with the producers. Y'all, he wasn't in the bed in the in the girl hotel room sitting, and then they walked in, and he 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 trapped in a closet. But with if it. you didn't tell me, if you let me let me let me stop you right here. Okay. They were out in a public place with other people from the show. This is overblown. Like he was trapped in a closet with the girl, and I don't like it. I but don't like it because the truth of the matter is that you still wanted him after you heard about that incident. Right or wrong? This is her. She said that. She, but she how was on do a, you feel about him not wanting to have him taking a little bit more time? Y'all, he wasn't. A, I, and I'm a, this is my opinion. 
he wasn't attracted to her. But that, but I, and I'm never going to kill somebody on this show who's not attracted to their spouse who tries because that's what we ask people to do. Yeah. That's what I don't understand the vitriol even. And he, and he really, at least when I was tweeting and, 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 and I, through my scrolls, I didn't really see him getting a lot of vitriol, but I'm sure he got some. And I just think it was, it was misplaced. Like, I think that we ask people to go through this process and to trust the process and to see it through and to give their effort. And then when you get to the end, make your decision. But I think she's I think that he was, he didn't, we go back to them not picking each other and them not being, them not pairing each other. Like them not, you know, being the, 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 the pickers of who they're going to date. So I think he got paired with somebody who he didn't find all that attractive, but he liked her. I but think I, he does like her. I think he liked her too, but I think what Becca is saying is that even in spite of that, although they stayed together, it may have been for the optic of staying together versus I disagree. Like he was so detached from it. But he said it to, he agreed to that to some point, like, you know, like I was more concerned with what it looked like and things like that and being intimacy on camera and all that stuff like that. I he think, was concerned with all these things. I'm saying I think he stayed on the show as long as he did because he wanted to be a part of the process and see if he can break through that barrier or whatever that obstacle was that was the, the lack of physical attraction. I think I, I, when he I, says, I, I when, see you, but when he I don't said, know if when I he give said to me, credit. I am, when he said to me, I wasn't here for the likes and to get on and to get a brand deal. I believe him. You know I what do I mean? believe. I that. just don't. He just doesn't strike me as that guy. He don't. He doesn't strike me. He as just that doesn't. Guy so, but that, but that's what Becca tried to paint it as because that was the solidarity tactic. It was y'all was on here for uh, y'all, y'all, y'all even Becca even threw out. They colluded for us to not have sex. That was the dumbest thing I've heard on, on reality went, TV. But don't the problem is the dumbest stand up. Don't you ever in your life you are a woman, okay? Are you like how dare you on Beyonce's internet have an issue? If a man don't want to sleep with you, girl, get on, move over. But, like I, I can't even believe this is even a conversation that we even talking about. Like we give a damn that these. I, I, the problem is it's a burnout. <laughs> it's just such a burnout. I'm so disappointed in this generation of women. I I mean, the problem is are the problem is you thought that that was like a bar, like you was going to drop a bomb on us, like you know what, guys. But really, it looked thirsty. AF. It looks silly. It looks so dumb. Because if they were women, you think men is going to collude together in a group chat to not get me on the ball? No men at like. Are you serious? I, I don't even. No, you're, and that's the thing too. I think that there's this, the thing that is icky to me is that there's this consistent concerted effort to make it look like there was another reason why that guy didn't want me. Yeah. Except y'all, for this Y'all self-esteem got to be better than this. It's not. You it's, went it's, to a place of a bunch of grown men colluding to not have sexual intercourse. You went that far. Your self-esteem is down that bad that you had to get, go all the way there to find a reason why this man just didn't want you. He just didn't want you. Period. Did, I, did we cover it? Honestly, we were bothered by so many things that happened. I know. We could say that we covered it in, in the first 20 minutes of, of, of the video. For real. Because there was, we're never going to get, we would have to turn the show on and go through it piece by piece, which we're not going to do. Because there's Maybe a part two. All day and night. But there's a part two, so... I reserve the rest of my feelings for that. Bust down. Subscribe to this Mary Tatum channel. Thank you so much for joining us again. I'm your girl, Intasar Eleanor. This is my beautiful husband, Joe. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.